Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to do a combination of these two images. Now, as you will see, the texture on the digital backdrop is somewhat different to the source file, um, but that's okay because the colors match. I'm just going to close this one down. Um, the colors match really nicely. We've got gentle pink. The pink in this backdrop, this is a new one, is slightly stronger. Um, I really love this one and this blue underneath I painted um, myself and I really like the combination of the baby blues and pinks so that's the one I thought I would show you. So as always what we're going to do is this one is mostly edited, it's not an in-depth edit, you can see a little bit of pink on the baby's hand and feet and the eye but that's just sort of you know, being picky, um, it's almost the final edit, it's, it's fine for this composite. So I'm going to grab this file, I'm going to drop it onto the digital backdrop, close the original file down, and this should be a really simple, quick combination. As I always say, and I'll say it again and again, in fact I'm going to say it in every video, so if you watch on a regular basis, you'll get it stuck in your head. Please shoot with intent. If you're planning to shoot for a digital backdrop, for a composite, there's no point shooting on white if you're going to have uh, a digital backdrop which is pink or, or dark. It's just not going to work. I mean, it could, uh, but it's going to just take you ages to do it. And what's the point of making your life more difficult when the whole point of digital backdrops is to make your life easier? Um, okay, so as you can see, on the right hand side we have the digital layer at the top, the baby layer, uh, sorry at the bottom, the baby layer on top at reduced opacity. I've changed the size using free transform tool, I held down the shift button to ensure that, um, so you go to edit free transform and sorry the old button to make sure that the baby, um, the image size changes but the baby proportions remain the same. You can then rotate the baby if you want to. Um, and then press enter when you have the image where you want. Increase the opacity to 100% and then pop a black layer mask on. So hold down alt and bottom right hand side, third icon is layer mask. And what that does, it simply covers up uh, the baby image uh, with black. What your job is now is to paint her uh, back in. Now, like I said, there's slightly different texture. She got shot on fluff, which is quite sort of plain, and we have a stronger pink underneath. Uh, so we're going to have to do some blending, but that's okay. So I'm just going to paint her in at 100% opacity. Um, and then we're going to have a play. Okay, so the main thing here is that we are retaining the shadows. Those lovely shadows that you see where she is sunk in, they will not be touched. You want them to stay. Um, and this is all around here. There we go. So everything else we can blend. So get rid of the hard line there. See, this is where you, what you don't want. So the hard lines need to go. So I've switched to a black brush now and I'm, I'm going to reverse the process. Um, Please do make sure that you paint all of the baby in and you don't end up missing bits because I have been known to flatten an image and I missed a bit and then you know you can see the digital backdrop poking through from underneath. Uh, not a good look. So yeah, just make sure that you have got the whole baby painted in and you can check that by switching the underneath layer off. Okay, so make sure the layer mask is selected in the layers palette on the right. Uh, make sure you've got the black brush selected and that your opacity is nice and low so maybe let's go for anything between 20 and 30 depending how how fast you like to work and I'm now going to paint away that original pink it's a little bit lighter than the other pink as well so we want a really a blend of the two of them you have to be careful so as you can see here we've got the little tires from the hat so you don't want to be going over those because even if you erase them at 20% it's just going to look a little bit weird and see through and we don't want that we want the images to look good okay make sure that any flowers from the backdrop or anything else are definitely still showing through um not showing through that they are not disturbed and that the shadows are retained. 
So let's see where we are at the moment. So because of the texture difference, you can see here, we've got a bit of the texture coming through from underneath. So yeah, that's not too bad. Over here, I can see that it's going over the flowers a little bit. So I'm going to paint away a little bit more. Let's have a look what is this blending like. Okay, I'm going to actually do even more of the original. I'm not touching the shadows, not really. And if I have, I'll paint them back straight back in. Okay, for me, that is enough. I know that you can see the slight, the slightly different shade of pink uh, from the original backdrop, but we're going to heal that using the clever color change. So flatten the image, Control J, grab the paintbrush, make sure that it's nice and soft, go for 100% opacity, put the brush in color mode and grab a pink from the original pink shade that was in the digital backdrop. So Alt and Sample, and as you sample, you'll see in the bottom left there, the color changes. So look, I'm sampling purple, it's gone to purple, and sampling green, it's gone to green. Um, but we want to change the fluff color um, to make it all one shade. So we're gonna stick to the pink um, and have a little go. Here we go. So actually, it's picked quite a strong pink, which is not a bad thing because Paint it in at 100% and what will happen is that will all end up being the same opacity. Make sure that you don't do that to the wrap, unless you want to of course. This wrap doesn't really have you know, skin showing through so you could possibly get away with changing the wrap colour. Although colour change on white never looks, I don't think, that as great as it does if you go for a mid-tone. Although you can probably get away with it here because the wrap is actually cream not white but anyway I am rambling on uh, so right I'm doing this and my patience is already running low you see I love shooting digital backdrops I love shooting babies but the editing part I am over with I am over so the editing part I wish it would do itself so that's why I like to save time and I like to get things done quicker rather than slower so for me doing composites for hours creating shadows and all that palaver cannot be bothered okay so I've done a color change obviously this now looks like some sort of bubblegum crazy pink neon explosion you don't want that but you don't want that either so what we want is to play with the opacity of that layer. Have a look on the right hand side and there we go. I've just sort of gone to about 39% and that's fine. That all looks a similar shade now. So we have got the baby on the pink. Everything sort of blends in nicely. So we can go flatten image and save the image and don't save over your original. And obviously now if you want to apply any of your, um, you know, I don't know, matte actions or if you feel that maybe the image, for me the image is slightly too light so I would probably go to curves and darken it a little bit, maybe add a little bit of contrast, maybe not actually because I quite like it when it's nice and gentle. So yeah, now you finish off and apply any global uh, editing corrections that you wish to apply. Thank you for watching and see you next time.